Hi and welcome back to another edition of CIA 360 Mods. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to change the color of your uh, power light on your power brick. Um, first you'll need a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a pair of tweezers. You can have either the self-closing kind or the, the kind you close yourself. It doesn't really matter, whatever your preference is. Because you're dealing with the SMDs, 603 SMDs. They're really, really small and you don't want to lose them, so preferably the self-closing kind. A soldering iron and solder. Alright, first we're going to start off by taking off the little the little uh, stubs right here. There's four screws underneath e each of the little stubs. You just pop them right off. They just pop right off right there. There we go. There's one. Two, three, four. All right, and then there's four four screws underneath each of those little stubs. Just unscrew the stubs. Then you pop off the bottom and the top should come off. There's a little fan right here and it connects through right here so you got to take off the whole thing. You want to get it out of the housing. Start with the back right here where the two prong plug is. Just pull it out and then uh, kind of lift out the back first and then the front out because there's a little clip right here. Alright and then your fan is right here so you just kind of push this cord forward and pull out the fan. So now you don't have to deal with that. It's not in the way. And then right here is your SMDs. Uh, this one is the yellow, this one's the green, and this is the red, the very top one. I drew a little diagram right here so you can see it. And this is the plus, the minus, the minus, plus, minus, plus. And we're going to be dealing with just the green SMD. I just want to change the green from green to blue. So what we're going to do is first you're going to get your SMD and you're going to get it in your tweezers. These are really small so take them out one at a time. Okay, after you got your little SMD in there, see it's really it's really tiny, you can hardly even see it. Um, to get your SMD in there, what you're going to do is you're going to find out the polarity and whatever side the point is, it'll make like a little plus. Whatever side the point is, is the negative side. So in this case, we're going to make sure the negative goes up. So let's find the, the relativity on there. All right, that's the plus right there. All right, so we're going to start by floating off this SMD real quick. Get the soldering iron. A little dab of solder on there, you know the process, you know. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. All right, there it goes. All right, float it off. Take it off. Get the other pair of tweezers real quick. And just pull it off after it's been uh, floated off. And you get your other SMD and you put it on there. Real nice and gentle. You hold it there. It's really hard to do with the camera, but you hold it there. And then you just tack the first side. Alright, I think that's tack. Let it harden a little bit. Alright, it stayed there, so let me tack the other side real quick. And that's it. It should be that easy. Let's plug this in real quick and see if I got it. First you gotta plug this side into the Xbox because it won't turn on unless you plug it into the Xbox. And then this side. You should plug that in. And it doesn't have to be in the housing for you to do this. You just this is just to check it. You want to put it back in the housing in just a minute. Now we have our Xbox up here real quick. 
See now we have our orange SMD on there, and when we press the Xbox button, all right, I missed it the first time, but uh, I went back and I re-soldered it. Uh, just one of the points wasn't soldered enough. Oh, I gotta plug it in. So it's plugged in, you see you got the, the yellow right there. And let's turn on the Xbox. And it's blue. And this is the finished product after we put it all back together. Alright everyone, thank you guys for watching. Um, rate it, comment, don't really care if you subscribe, but uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Watch some more of my videos.